I am John Carlos, a technical customer support agent here at the AWS office in San Jose, Costa Rica. Today, I'm going to tell you what you need to do if your AWS free tier period is expiring. Let's get started. When your AWS free tier period ends, you can choose to continue using the services that you sign up for, or you can stop using those services. If you continue to use AWS services, then all the resources in your account are built at on-demand rates. This means that it is a best practice to review the resources that you are using on a monthly basis. To view your monthly charges, follow these steps. Sign in to the AWS Management Console and then open the AWS Billing and Cost Management Console. In the navigation pane, on the left-hand side, choose Bills. For date, choose a month. Then, check the AWS pricing for any resources that you are using to decide what you want to keep. If you accept that the AWS resources on your account are built at on-demand rates, you don't need to do anything. You can use the AWS pricing calculator to estimate your monthly bill when AWS free tier ends. If you want to stop using AWS services, then you must take additional actions to avoid incurring charges. To stop using AWS services, follow these steps. Check for active resources. To find them, check your monthly bill and see which resources are generating charges. Delete, stop, or terminate the resources on your account. You can use the AWS Management Console search bar to look individually for each service. Then, select each resource and remove them from your account. If you no longer want to keep your account open with AWS, you can now close your account. However, because you are not charged, if you have no active resources or subscriptions, you can keep your account active without being billed. And now you know what you need to do if your AWS free tier period is expiring. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.